Hi everyone, hope you're having a fabulous day. Welcome if you're new, welcome if you're a returning subscriber. Today we're gonna talk about uh, your energy and vibe. Guys, we are aware at this point that our energy and our vibe is everything. Um, so let's talk today about what yours brings to the table, what people feel when they meet you, how they feel, how you make them feel. We have four beautiful images in front of you. I'm gonna give you five seconds to choose one. Um, go with the one that really pulls you in, starting now. Okay, so if you picked pile one, now I already shuffled the cards ahead of time just so that we could cut down a bit on time. Um, before I do start, I do wanna let you know that I am running a special. I still am running the special. I'm not sure how much longer I'm gonna keep it there, uh, but make sure to check it out. It's the first link in the description box. I'm running a special on a, a private reading right now, 10 minute with me um, for only $10. Okay, can't beat that. Um, so yeah, check it out. Let's just get all your cards out here. Uh, wow, okay. Why do I have these cards in here? This is bizarre. Okay, see, nothing is random because I didn't do that for anybody else. So this pile, you have two extra bonus cards. I don't know why these are here. Um, very weird. Um, but anyways, we will incorporate them. Can you see everything? Okay, hopefully you can see it, everything. There we go. Um, okay, so what does your energy and vibe bring to the table? I feel like people might be a little bit taken aback when they meet you. I don't know that I feel like there's much energy coming to the table when they meet you. It feels to me like someone who could be very brief with somebody, um, very to the point, very, you know, and we're talking about people that, that you meet like right away in the beginning, what it's like for them. Um, you come across as a strong personality, but you also come across as a little distant, okay? It's almost like with the 10 of swords being the first card, it's almost, be it's over before it starts. So there could be pe some people who want to kind of talk to you or maybe get deeper with you, but you're just very abrupt. Uh, maybe it could be that you're a busy person. This is not a judgmental thing. Maybe you are just in a rush, who knows? But I just feel like with here, um, this feels a little bit to me like, Hard to read and hard to get to know. Now, we do have a lot of cards here that do point to the fact that there could be a reason for this. We have the surround yourself with your soul tribe. You could be just a, maybe a person who really like has your own, oh my goodness, what is this? Um, <laughs> you have your own, I have a candle here and they're my candles and they're so strong in the smell that that's could probably why I have a little bit of like a small fly here. Um, but anyways, um, you could have your tribe already, you know, or maybe you know how to suss people out. I feel like people feel like you're very skeptical of them when you meet them. Like, it's almost like I'm leaving a person. I'm like, I don't think she likes me. I think she feels like maybe I'm a threat or like maybe she picked up on something. Um, I think you could have maybe probably very piercing eyes or when you're talking to people, you're really sussing them out and they could be very nervous when you talk to them because they know you're listening to everything they're saying and you're almost reading them like reading them like a book and um i think you're very picky i think people realize you're very picky when you meet them and um it's going to take probably a lot to kind of get into your little circle you know um i don't think this happens very often at all um now we have the devil here i feel like there's a bit of a like um obsession a bit with you but I think it's not I think it has a little bit to do with why we can't figure you out you know with the four of swords again this is very brief so I don't know that I feel like you're coming on strong uh, when you meet people I think you're just a little bit like and I, it's not something to be, like I'm not trying to be rude but it feels a little dry someone who's right to the point keeps it very brief just wants to kind of, you know, know what you want and then like, okay, be done with you. Now, you are very interesting because we have the be bold, don't be afraid to stand out card. So your whole look is very interesting. Your whole vibe is very interesting. I think people want to know more, but I just don't think you allow it. Now, it does have these two cards down here that says recovery and not the right time. 
So maybe this is why uh, you, you, you don't kind of give people the time of day is because maybe you are like at the moment of reading this or you've kind of always, maybe you've been hurt in the past. So when you are meeting people, you're a little bit like, t you know, you have a, a guard up, okay? The recovery card could be here because there's someone that maybe did something to you or maybe you just haven't had good experiences. So you're just very weary of people. And it's interesting with not the right time. I feel like people feel like that constantly with you. And I'm talking about lovers as well, okay? They just feel like you're giving them a vibe of not right now. Now, I feel like people, if they are intuitive who are meeting you, could feel to some degree that maybe you have been hurt and this is why you're being like this. You know, I know I can pick this up in people. So if there is a person who happens to be uh, very aware and, you know, um, you know, psychic to some degree, they might feel that way too when they're meeting you. Your energy and vibe is a bit of a double-edged sword. So you pull them in with your looks, like you're very interesting to look at. Um, you could have something that's very unique about you. I mean, she has a beautiful, I don't know, it's like a collage of different colors in her hair and she has yellow lipstick and it looks bomb on her. I mean, who can pull that off, okay? Um, I'm not saying that that's you, but you have something that's very interesting about uh, your look. Um, and it, it, it's kind of like people want to get to know you for this reason, you know? It's, they can't help but find you interesting. But then it's like, again, you know, these are not very good cards to get, you know, with the vibe that you're giving off. Um, not that I'm saying to change. I just feel like it's dry. Like there's not much energy putting, being put towards. And I feel like there's another set of people that could view you as with the Seven of Swords, someone who's faking things. Um, so maybe even going extra hard to kind of be distant. Like, why does she keep avoiding me? Is she avoiding me? I feel like I'm seeing I'm, and I'm hearing people saying, does she just go out of her way to like not say good morning to me? Like, I don't know what this is. Um, now with the five of pentacles here, like again, you could have had a lot of issues, you know, with people in the past. Maybe you don't like people. You know, I never used to say that, but I'm kind of there now, you know? <laughs> especially with uh, since 2020 and 2021 happened, like I'm just done with people, you know, like through this whole thing that's happened, it's waking me up like to people like I've never seen before. So um, it could be something like that or it could be something that's like personal to you. But I just I feel like you just are very picky, you know, and there's nothing wrong with that. Because again, we have this group here of girls that are sitting together, you know, you may already have all your people, you know, you may already have all your um, special friends and there's just no room for anybody else, you know, um, maybe they've been like bonded, you've had these friendships for a while and you're just like, you're, you're good, you're good. Um, but I feel like there's a seductiveness about you as well too. So uh, with that devil, it's difficult because like you're probably very good looking or you know how to throw it down like your seductive game is dope you might want to check my video previously because it's all about seducting uh, or seducing style the style of seducing but you've got that hand down you know like you really know how to pull people in and i think it's with your eyes but at the same time where i'm not, i'm just not feeling a lot of vocalization here so it could be that you know um, you're pulling people in like you're very interesting to look at but then like once they try to start with you it's very brief now you have these two cards here which are interesting so it says beware of great pride um, so be kind of a little bit careful with this because I feel like people are misunderstanding you um, they could be taking your briefness or your standoffishness in a way where they think you're kind of like a bitch and you might have that or you may think you're all that but then again in the same breath you you don't have to care what people think you know it actually says here with the flag don't be tempted to, to lower standards so uh why why do that you know like you don't need to you are um doing what you're supposed to do and i think a lot of the people that you are avoiding are the people who should be avoided um you know i don't know what they want from you but i feel like they want things that are suspect now, in love, um, energetically, your vibe is giving off the lovers and the knight of swords. I think you're a little bit of like, um, like, again, you're that woman with the blue hair, okay? So you are a very much a juicy peach. You're like that one that people gravitate towards. You could be very good looking. 
Um, you could look very sexualized as well too, uh, where you are seductive. Um, but I feel like you represented by the lovers, you could probably attract a lot of uh, married men, but that's because you're attracting everybody. <coughs> so with the lovers, it can be that it's a difficult choice. Um, you know, he is choosing, he, he has to choose between these two women if you see them, okay? You're the one who looks more alluring, while the other one is probably maybe his wife, you know, or someone who is not as exotic as you. But um, you provoke a lot with people, uh, like especially in love, okay? In love, people feel like to some degree, I don't know, you know, like I just, I want it, I want it. So again, you're alluring people sexually. And with the Knight of Swords here, I feel like there's something here of a vibe. People are getting a vibe about you that you could be like a tigress in the bedroom or you're down to try new things. And this could just be the way you look. Like, let's be real. Women who look exotic, um, they look like they're more wild in bed, don't they? I mean, yes, we can't always judge a book by its cover, but a lot of people do, okay? So they always just think that these women who look very seductive or know how to wear their makeup right or have their boobs out are just gonna be like more wild in bed. That's not always true, okay? Now you have I need time and I check on you from afar. A lot of the people, um, and this is where the obsessiveness comes in, okay? So the, a lot of the people who you're kind of maybe in a way brushing off or the ones who feel like they can't get towards you, they feel like you are giving the vibe of I need time. So it's like, I need to know you. I need to know who you are. I need to suss you out. I need to watch your move. Like they're aware that with the type of vibe you're giving out, like they're not gonna just be in your friend circle or invited to over to your house anytime soon. But they have this obsessiveness that comes with this, okay, with the devil. And then they start watching online. So um, this is bizarre, okay, that you got these two. Like I still can't figure out how these two cards ended up in here. It's just weird because no other pile has it. Um, so you are being stalked online. And I think people, because you're not giving much in person, are trying to figure you out online. The funny thing about this is there could be people who are watching who are just like that in person online as well, too. You just don't know what's going on with them. You know, they might post a picture here and there, but they're very mum or shush about their life. So it's kind of funny here. It's kind of funny here. Like, you know, you're intriguing because you're not giving out much, you know, like you're very interesting to look at. Um, but there's just not much being said. Now, I think people are aware of like your tight knit friendships and kind of scratching their head, like how these people got into your life, you know, like how were they able to prove it? Like you just don't have time for people. Maybe you have a, a vibe of being very busy too. Maybe when you are, I don't know, engaging, you're on your phone or you are trying to be on your phone so that nobody engages with you. It's like, just don't approach something along those lines. But it's interesting because your look says something totally different, which is interesting um, because I feel like your look has a come towards me look, but it's like the vibe, like your vibe when you actually speak is like, yeah, you're going to have to prove it or you're going to have to like give me time to warm up to you. So yeah, um, let me just kind of do a scan here and see if I can pick up anything else. There's also with this five of wands an energy of like through your words or whatever, the way you conversate, like we can't mess around with you. So you could be not a smiley person or a person who's very to the point or very clear with the way that you speak. So, you know, five of wands can be very much that energy of standing your ground. I don't know that people meet you and think that they're going to be able to kind of get what they want from you or be able to kind of like mess with you, you know, tell you, go do this, go do that. And you're just going to be like a little mouse doing it. Um, no, there's a respect here. And maybe you do this on purpose. Who knows? You know, everybody does things for certain reasons. Maybe you have this type of energy so that you nobody Fs with you. And this could even be in the workplace. So I feel like um, also as well too, you're highly respected. You give that energy off. Like this is not a one I can like, you know, you don't come across as that type that is like that nicey nice um, saying please and thank you a million times or saying sorry all the time, okay? You could be even like a sign that is very strong. Uh, maybe even Leo energy, Scorpio, uh, Aries, uh, Taurus. Hell yeah, Taurus here. Uh-huh. 
this is Taurus for you. Very beautiful to look at, but like, oh my God, like they're just not going to be that type that's just going to open their whole life up to you right away. Okay. Um, what else kind of signs do I see from this? Hmm. Maybe even Capricorn, Capricorn as well too. Aquarius too, Aquarius energy here as well. Yeah, so this was your reading. Um, let me know if it resonated. And uh, again, check out that link in my um, description box for the 10 minute reading. Uh, I'm not going to be having that much longer. So you might wanna get out on it, okay? Thanks so much guys. Okay, pal too. So if you pick this image, let's find out what your type of energy and vibe you're giving off. Okay. I pre shuffled uh, and picked my cards ahead of time so that we could cut down on time. Uh, before you listen to this reading to check out the link in my description box. I am offering a special right now for a 10 minute reading. Um, it's you can easily find it. It's right there in the description box. It's a 10 minute reading for uh, $10. So let's look at what's going on with you. Hmm. Okay. Let me just do a scan because this is the first time I'm seeing these. Just give me a, let me just do a scan here quickly. Okay. Uh, the moment I saw the world card, I felt like you're very popular. Okay. Very popular. Uh, you may not think you're popular, but if you notice that people want to come towards you and people like, I just feel like you're popular. I don't know. People want to get to know you. You're interesting. You're just really interesting. And you could have a way about you that could be a little bit like loud. And I don't mean like loud as far as your volume and tone. I just mean like your presence, because when we have the judgment and the justice and my God, we have the queen of wands. Um, you're a truth teller. You know, you could be very like sassy and brassy when you speak and maybe even with your hands, but you could be very opinionated. So maybe when you're meeting people, you're telling them stories like, I don't know about like situations you're dealing with. And it has a lot to do with like your opinions of what you think, you know, you're telling and people get an idea right there. It's like, wow, she's like, she's a spitfire. Like she wants me to know definitely like i i just i don't know like i just i don't, I don't think i can mess with this one this one here <laughs> i'm gonna have to be very careful what i say because i feel like but it doesn't scare them off that's the thing because with these two cards we have a light-hearted carefree time so you are a fun time it's easy with you but you're also teaching people it's interesting so the vibe that you give off is very much the energy of a teacher and I'm not saying a school teacher. I'm talking about like a life teacher with a, with the lion here. Time to act. It's like, honey, like this is not the the group that's going to like allow bullshit to happen to them. And you're probably talking about that to people, like about people who tried with you. And you're like, uh, oh, oh, oh hell no, uh, not today, not today. Like they know, they know. Um, but it's funny to me. Like I'm hearing laughter. Like, she's a hoot. <laughs> Do people even say that? She's a hoot? <laughs> but seriously, you're funny. Like, you're funny. Um, so your stories could be very funny. People want to exchange um, interactions with you. They want more. Um, that's beautiful that the Two of Cups is here. Because the Two of Cups is a really nice energy to get when we're talking about your energy and vibe. Because it talks about people who want to approach. They feel comfortable. They feel invited. They feel like maybe even you're stable to some de degree in the sense where I don't have to worry about approaching this person because they're going to kind of be open to receiving me. So I feel like people are taken in by you, but I just, I don't know why. I'm just, I'm, I'm sensing some, someone who's meeting people and they're either A, making jokes right off the bat or they're talking about like something that happened to them. And it just sounds hilarious, even though you're in the process of that story, talking about like how you are and how you dealt with people. So they're getting two things from it, like jokes, but also a sense of like who you are, like your identity. <laughs> uh, but yeah, with the judgment and the justice, like you're not afraid to speak up. So if this is people who are meeting you in a work environment or I don't know, wherever, there may be a situation where something happens and you speak up, they're like, 
watching maybe even people meet you like that because you're that one who like decide to stand up in the room and say hey i'm not taking this you know or say something that's really inspiring you know the judgment card it wakes you up in a sense you know so you could say some really profound shit oh yeah like it's a wake-up call the judgment you know and I'm not surprised that the Queen of Wands is here because she's going to be mouthy, okay? She's not going to be that woman who's going to... She's no baby, okay? She's not sitting in the corner, okay? Uh-uh. She's speaking her mind. And look with the Ace of Swords, direct as F. Maybe you're not even afraid to, to kind of go up to people. So when we're talking about your energy and vibe, um, how do you people feel... How do you make people feel energetically... Maybe you're also approaching others. I don't know that this is just people approaching you or when they're coming up to you. I feel like it's an even balance here with the justice. Like you're not afraid to meet people. Like you're open. Like I'm not sensing here that if I meet a person like you, that you have any sort of like social anxiety. Like you're okay to go to a party alone. You're okay to meet people. Like you're comfortable with yourself. And even if you're not, because there are some who are not, they know how to fake it, okay, um, just to make it, <laughs> all right? Now, you have the breathe in bliss, exhale the bullshit, and you have the you are pure magic. So I think you're aware of your powers, and I think people are aware that you're aware of your powers. I think people know that you think you're pretty special, and it's actually inspiring because I don't think it's being done in a way that is uh, brutal or, um, you know, self-absorbed. I think it's being done in a beautiful way where we are looking at you like look how nice this is that she thinks she's this and that and that are like good for her you know like good for her so i think with the you are pure magic um you might be even talking in tones of like you know you can do it you can do whatever you want you can make it um you're inspiring um and um people are inspired by this they really are so how you make people in, feel energetically really good you may even feel people make people feel good about themselves. So it's like, hey, um, you know, I was feeling I was feeling kind of crappy, and then you came and you know I came and saw you or you um, I met you, and you just made me started to make me feel really good about my life. Like maybe I've even felt like I known you like for a long time. Like I'm feeling like instant friend, and I'm not saying instant friend in the sense where. You're just allowing people to kind of do whatever they want. I mean, like, it's fun. You know, I'm laughing and I feel like I'm comfortable. Like, I've known you for maybe many years. You know, and it's like there was not even a warm up to this. Something along those lines. But this is inspiring as well, too. So breathe in the bliss and exhale the BS. You could be very into women. Like, and I don't mean sexually. I mean, like, maybe even empowering women not to deal with BS. Like, time to act, honey. Time to act with the lion. Like, speak up for yourself. My goodness, you know? Maybe you give that type of, you know, uh, vibe out to people. You know? Like, I'm very nice, but come at me wrong. I'm gonna, you're gonna hear from me. And however you treat me is how I'm gonna treat you. So there's a very much like with the justice, a, a fairness here. You know? What you give is what you get. I think you could be a very nice person, but I think if someone rubs you the wrong way, you will give it equally back. I don't feel like a wilting willow here or someone who's going to be like, oh, I'm just going to be better than them or bigger than them and be the mature person and let it go. No, this is not happening here. Now, you have to take action and helpful people. I like this because, again, it talks about, you know, taking action, right, with, what, with respect to whatever. Maybe you're very motivating even with taking action in your life, okay? Maybe even by example, you've done a lot. You've maybe achieved a lot. We have the world card here. You could be on blast for something in a sense where people know you. Maybe you have a platform. Who the hell knows? Maybe you're doing something that people don't, you know, guys, I tell you, you think it's common to be a YouTuber? It's not. I don't, I know a lot of people and I don't know one person who does it. Not only that, um... Even if it's just random things like you drive Uber or whatever, like if you're doing something outside of the box, it could be very rare to people. That's just the way it is. Now we have helpful people. You are very helpful. So people um, look at you energetically like you've helped them um, or you're helpful. So you could be that friend or that person who's going to be there for you. 
you know, at four o'clock in the morning. Good for you, because I just, I ain't nobody got time for that, but good for you. <laughs> so if you are that person, I feel like people feel like energetically you come across as someone who is maybe very resourceful or helpful. Like I could, you could put them in touch with a certain person or you could make them feel like you're here to help. So this is very genuine, very genuine. I like commend you for this. I really do. Um, because not a lot of people have this, okay? They don't anymore. Now, romantically, energetically, you got, <coughs> excuse me, one moment. <coughs> okay, energetically in love, you got the death card and the queen of wands again, okay? So I feel like you're very tempting energetically. You could be a woman who, or a man who's very beautiful and very hard to resist, resist sexually. I feel like you, she looks to me like she's putting on a bit of a show, okay? So you know how to play it up. When you're interested in somebody, you're going to definitely play it up. You're going to know how to move your body. You're going to know how to behave. You could be very seductive. You could know how to speak. You know, you could kind of maybe even do this kind of voice like, oh, hi there, you know, like, you know how to do it. And you're very seductive. And I feel like people want to see more, like people want to see more. And you're very fiery. There's a big like torch right behind her. You know, he's interested. He's really interested. He wants to know what she's got, you know, and I'm not just talking about body wise. She he wants to know more like he's pulled in. Like, I need to know more about her. Like, what is she what does she like? What does she like to do? You know, um. And I feel like people like to chase as well, too. Maybe you even like that, you know? Maybe you even inspire them to chase by acting a certain way, you know? But it's like you know how to do it. I don't feel like you're chasing your lovers. I feel like your lovers are chasing you. So your energy and your vibe in love is uh, very, very inducing, um, very, very seductive. It's like you, with the Two of Cups, I just I want to exchange and it feels good to me, like even in the sense that people would want to even just have a conversation. So if they can't even have you, um, you know, they'll take whatever you're willing to offer. Now with the, the death card, this is interesting. You could be very transformative um, in the sense of when we're talking about energy and vibe. Um, you could be a little bit, you know, you could have a way about you that's like off, off and on. Um, it feels like with the death card, it feels transformative for me. Like, I feel like I don't know who I'm getting. So I don't know if you do this with like your lovers, but like this is enticing. But if you're doing this deliberately, deliberately, it does work. Okay, it's just human nature. Let's just be real. I'm not saying or advising anybody to play games with anybody. But hell, this is human nature. So I feel like with the death card, you come across as like a puzzle that we need to kind of like figure out, you know, and I think even when you're done the puzzle, I think people are still just left like wondering, you know, like what, what's going on? Like you're different and you're always changing things up. But um, it's interesting with the death card. Very transformative energy. Okay, there's one more thing I do want to say about the death card. You could give a little bit of like, there could be a little fear, okay, for some of you out there. When people are feeling, what people are feeling energetically towards you in love, there could be a little fear here of like what you might do. So you are seductive with the queen of wands, but there's also some fear here. So I don't know if you take it up a notch with your lovers where they're going to hear from you, or you might even have a little bit of an army, you know, it's like, oh yeah, you want to mess with me? I'm going to send, you know, who over, okay? Something along those lines, but there could be a little bit of a fear when it comes to you. I don't know why I'm feeling that. Because I mean, death is nothing. The death card is nothing to be afraid of, right? But it feels like that to me. It's like, I need to be very careful how I approach this person. You know, again, I don't feel like anybody wants to mess with you. Um, and you could make that very clear to them, you know, it could be the way that you treat them, your lovers, um, energetically, that they fear you in a way. <laughs> But yeah, with the world card, you're like popular. So even if it's like in your uh, worker, like your working area um, or at work, you're like the popular coworker. If it's your family members, you're that popular cousin. If it's like, I don't know, your friend group, you're like the boss captain, okay? You're like, a he you're like the head of the pink ladies, okay? Um, if you are um, 
in school, like you're probably popular, but I just, I feel like people get good vibes about you. They want to be near you. You're fun. You're funny. And you're, you have a lot to learn from like with you. Like, so people learn, they feel like they can learn from you. So this was beautiful. Really beautiful. Let me know if it resonated guys. And thank you so much for watching. Okay, so pile three, let's get into your reading. Uh, before we, I did just shuffle the cards ahead of time. Oh, you got three. Okay, I did shuffle the cards ahead of time and I pulled them just so that we could cut down a bit on time. Uh, before we check into this reading um, to see what's so great about your energy and how you make people feel energetically, I would like you to know that I am running a special. Um, so check the first link in my description box. I'm giving away a 10 minute reading uh, for $10. Uh, it's the first link. Okay, so let's get these cards out. Oh, you got three of these as well too. I wonder if three means anything to you people, anybody who's watching this, because we have three and I, I would, I've only been drawing two, I believe, for everyone. Okay, let's put these here. I know you can't see them, but I will definitely bring them up so that you can see them more clear. Okay, let's talk about your energy. How do you make people feel energetically? Well, you're definitely interesting because we have get back to nature and can reconnect to your hippie roots. So you're probably have a way about you that people right off the bat might know you're spiritual. And I don't know why I'm seeing this could be for one person. Maybe you have dreads. I don't know. Or you have a different type of bohemian type look or you wear a lot of crystals like your jewelry is crystals. I'm just seeing a lot of crystals. Um, not only that, like um, maybe you talk about it. I don't know, but it's like you're like in the clouds. I feel like I'm in the clouds. Like you're probably, you know, one of those people who are just really just not, you know, um, a part of society anymore, okay, to some degree. You may work at a matrix job, but you definitely stick out like a sore thumb. And guess what? You're not away from the, you're not into the drama, okay? She's sitting there by herself. She's very content with who she is. Um, you give the vibe of some, of, of a little bit of a loner, but that's to people who don't understand all of this because when you do awaken, all you want to do is be alone with yourself. So there's nothing actually really wrong with it. I would think more somebody who wants to be constantly surrounded by people. I would think something was maybe up with them. Okay. So, um, you're giving the people a little bit of a, an idea that you could be, um, how would I like, I'm trying to explain this from a person who might not be awakened. How would they describe this? Cause me, I would get this and I would flock to you. Okay. I would flock to you. Um, because you would be so interesting to me and I would know we would have dope conversations, but I feel like people who maybe not, maybe not don't understand you might describe you as maybe somebody who's very distant, aloof, maybe doesn't say much. Or if you do say much, you're talking about the things that I don't even know what the hell you're talking about. Maybe you're talking about aliens and galaxies far, far away. So you come across as a bit of like a, an outcast or like someone who I don't fully understand. Now, that's not to say that you're not loved. OK, uh, because we have tuned into your inner inner peace here. So I think people also are aware of the fact that you like your own peace or you like a peaceful life. So maybe people do try to get you to do things, but you always choose your peace over that. So maybe you're making statements like, oh, really, I just I kind of just wanted to like be alone tonight. Maybe I just want to kind of watch a movie, have a like, glass of wine or Maybe I'm going to some retreat, you know, and I just can't make it. Now, this Four of Cups to me is very symbolic, okay, of this. Um, I can never pick up these cards. You see how that uh, cup is being extended to him and his arms are crossed and he's kind of thinking about it? I feel like that's what people feel like. They're always kind of offering and you're thinking about everything. Like maybe you just, I don't know. It's like people maybe get tired or don't really understand how to read you. You know, they've offered, but you're just not taking them up on it. I don't know what this is. Um, but it's interesting because we have some good cards here where they feel like you are 
deep down winning at life. So, and that could have a lot to do with your inner peace because people will be jealous of that. I know a lot of people who have a lot of chaos in their life. And when I tell them that I don't have any, they're just like, how is that possible? And I'm like, oh, it's possible. It is. You just got to like cut certain things out. You know, you got to be willing to do that, you know. So I think there's a little bit of a jealousy here with your inner peace that maybe your life is pretty nice as something along those lines. And I don't know. It could be it could be attached to maybe what you have, but it could also be attached to like your success, like your drive, because we have the seven of pentacles here. So there's somewhat of like an achiever spirit here where, um, you know, I like to kind of tackle new things. I want to do new things. I'm not afraid to kind of work at something. Maybe you are a go-getter in maybe the not maybe most authentic way. Not authentic way. Sorry, I meant to say um, normalistic way where, you know, people are doing things like, you know, that everybody else does. Your stuff is a little bit different. Um, but I feel like people still try though. They like your energy. There's something that your energy does, but maybe you're very aware of the fact that there are energy vampires and you're very careful because I feel like there's something very soothing about your presence. So I don't know that people hate you or anything like that. I don't feel like that. I feel like they think you're very interesting. I feel like this is a very grounded energy, someone who is well liked. You may not say much, but when you speak, it's eloquent, it's it's graceful. You know, I don't see anybody here who's kind of uh, like going off the rails with, a, you know, uh, anger. I don't feel like that. I feel like we have the three of cups. It's like wanting to kind of maybe celebrate or get to you or be with you because there's some what of a winner energy here. Um, with the two of swords, though, I would say that people are not seeing you clearly. So um, maybe these are people who don't get you. I'm not saying that everybody doesn't get you, but I feel like most people don't. And it could be that they're just not on your path somehow, you know? I find with me, people take me wrong all the time because they, they think that I just don't like them or I don't want to kind of communicate with them or I'm just some, there's a problem and it's not like that. I just, I know how to read people. I can read you even without speaking to you. I can look out my window and watch you from afar and say, not for me. That's what I feel like here. You're very picky with your energy and I feel like people know that. And maybe you've expressed it. Maybe you've talked about spirituality and how important it is you know, uh, to have the right energy and to be around the right energy. And I just don't think you can do it anymore or you're just not in a space that can because, you know, you once you start to become aware of energy, you are very picky with it because you don't want to be drained. You don't want to leave drained. People will drain the hell out of you. Oh, my God. Now, it's interesting. You have listened to your intuition and get more information. So I think you are listening to your intuition about folks, like certain folks. And I think people feel like the get information is very subliminal for maybe people feel like it's gonna take eons to get to know you. <laughs> you know, maybe you need that information on them. Maybe you need to watch them more. Maybe it's gonna take time, you know? Unfortunately, um, this could go one or two ways, you know? It could draw them more in but it could also make them give up. So you're definitely not for the weak. You're not for the ones who don't want to earn it. I just don't think you want to be around people who have like some sort of a superficial reason for wanting to get to know you, you know? Now you do have strong emotion, um, passion, love, or hate. So I think it could go d three different ways here um, or two different ways. I think either people love you or they hate you um, right away. And I think when people hate you, it's not because of what I described. I think you're triggering them. And that happens to me all the time as well, too. People end up hating me. And that we, we haven't even really had any of a, anything of like a relationship or like many conversations. So I know you're being triggered. If you don't know me on a personal level and you hate me, you are being triggered. So I think you trigger people, uh, people who probably in their life are supposed to be going the way that you are, but are fighting it to some degree. So you're showing them um, subliminally 
you know, where they need to be going, but they're just fighting it because they are maybe not in a space to be able to do it yet, but you're doing it, you know? You have um, forest and wall. Um, I was kind of shocked when these came out, you know? Because uh, they kind of talk about the same thing. So we have muddled, unclear thinking and misunderstanding. So, yeah, uh, this is not good, okay? I mean, it's, it, it doesn't matter, but it's not really good because, you know, we would want people to see kind of what our true intentions are, but I feel like people think a lot of different things about you that are not you, okay? Or not your intentions. So if you feel like you're constantly getting in problems with people or people are constantly asking you if something's wrong, this could be like, a valid like the validation that this is your pile i feel like there's a ton of misunderstandings in your life and it has a lot to do with you just being very picky about who you let in now just to be fair because there's a lot of people watching there could be things that you say that could be very confusing now that could be any a whole range of things so you're going to have to interpret it for your own you know, uh, reading, this could be anything where maybe you are talking about things that people don't understand, which could be very spiritual. Um, or maybe you're maybe saying one thing, but it's very different. You could be very confusing to people. Um, but nevertheless, there's muddled, unclear thinking when it comes to you. So I think with this one, um, you definitely are probably better off alone. <laughs> I mean, I love my own company. I love my own company. There's nothing I would love better than to do what she's doing. Sitting on a bunch of rocks, looking out to the water, and just listening to the ocean and the wind breeze. Um, I think if you are having a tough time in your life right now and are trying to figure out why maybe people have problems with you, uh, it really doesn't have anything to do with you. Um, it just, I think you're triggering people. So just... Don't think about it too much. Um, just leave those people alone. Try if you can to disconnect from them. But stay doing your own thing because why would you not want to stay away from drama? That's what I don't get, you know? Like, I don't really, un I'll never understand people who love it and who love chaotic lives. I'll never get that. Like, I can't live like that, you know? Now, in love, in love, energetically, we're coming across as the page of cups. You're coming across as the page of cups and you're coming across as the magician. So I feel like even in love, people are aware uh, that something's a little different here. Now with the magician, I feel like this could be even spiritual spirituality. Um, you might be having some spiritual experiences in love. And maybe you are getting these things or these are the people we're picking up in this reading because this is what you've encountered and good for you. Because once you do kind of awaken and you are at a certain like pace in your life where you're no longer accepting like other types of relationships go check out i have a karmic soulmate twin flame video um that i did um just recently you know we don't encounter karmics anymore so i feel like here energetically you are probably picking up people who are sensing something spiritual and what do i mean by that um you could have a lot of bizarre experiences or the people who are feeling or coming through this reading are feeling spiritually connected to you. Now, I'm not saying that you feel spiritually connected to all of them because for me, I've met people who feel spiritually connected to me in love where I don't feel anything for them, okay? And they're just picking up on the vibe and um, you could be a little bit of a healer, okay? That's why that's happening. But... If you are picking, uh, if you did have a situation with somebody spiritually, this is what they felt when they met you energetically. They felt like with the Page of Cups, they wanted to express themselves, but they couldn't. This man cannot express himself. Like, he just looks like he is uh, rolling up the paper. He's constantly writing, and then he's, like, throwing it away. And if you look, the cat is playing with his trash, like his letters that he, th like, rolled up into a ball. He's aggravated. He wants to express himself, but he doesn't know how to. So I feel like there's a bit of a block. But with the magician here, I feel like they also view you as the magician. Like, what are you, what am I feeling? What is this feeling? They can't make sense of what they're feeling with you. So it could be the fact that you have a very higher, like, level vibration. 
because sometimes when you work on yourself, your vibration will even change and shift as well too. And then everybody will feel you. Like they won't know what they're feeling, but they're feeling something. Um, and it, it, it's intriguing to them. And they're just kind of like, huh, this is different, you know? Um, they could feel like you're very interesting with the magician as well too in love or that you are maybe even capable of many different things. Or, guys, or honestly, with the magician, they could feel to some degree like you are maybe a witch, okay? I know when I met my um, twin, I was always worried, like, in the back of my head. I was like, these, these encounters that we're having, oh, my God, they're so paranormal. This guy's going to probably think I put a spell on him, like, honestly. Or he's going to think I'm a witch or something or that I casted a spell on him or something. I, I don't know. Like, that's just what I always felt. So there's something of, like, that going on as well, too, where they feel that. Like, you might be, got a black magic woman. Mm -mm -mm. Got a black magic woman. She's a black magic woman. You wanna put the spell on me. Okay, I haven't sang in a while and I think I forgot the words. <laughs> but it's something along those lines, okay? So there's this is a spiritual pile. Like, you know, now that we've read all the cards, this is definitely a spiritual pile. You're you're intriguing, but you're confusing. And I think that it's probably very difficult for you, but I also don't think you give a fuck, okay? Because with the stay away from the drama today, um, you're just, you're about your own thing. So you're not, you're not even caring. You probably clicked on the video cause you're like, okay, well, what is she gonna say? Who really cares? Maybe I'm bored, I'm watching this pick a card. Let me just be entertained a little bit, okay? But this is definitely a spiritual pile, and, um, you know, don't worry about it, you know? Do listen to your own intuition regarding the people that you're meeting. Um, you know, act accordingly, which is what you've been doing, and just keep doing your thing. So this was your reading, uh, pile three. Let me know what you thought, and thank you so much. Okay, pile four, let's see what's happening with you. Now, I already pre-shuffled just because I could, so I could cut down on time. Um, so I'm just gonna put out your cards for you. In the meantime, guys, just a reminder, I am running a special on Fiverr. So uh, check out the link in the description box. It's the first one. I'm giving 10 minutes uh, for $10, which you cannot beat. <laughs> so uh, I won't be putting that on forever, but just letting you know that I'm running that special. So check it out. Okay, so let's see what's going on with you. Let's find out what, how you make people feel energetically. Okay, so this is, um, let me just look at this because this is the first time I'm seeing this. Let me just do a scan here quickly of the cards. Um, okay, the, you could be an alpha. You could be an alpha here, alpha, female, or male if you're watching. Um, yeah, this is, um, your alpha, I mean, queen of swords, you know, there's just like, it's clear cut, you know, I don't know that you smile too much. I would say when you're meeting people or when you're around people, you could be a person who's very serious. Um, and if you are smiling, I wouldn't say it's maybe too often, but I will tell you, people do like you. They do with the ace of cups. Um, they want to be around you, but you're very inspiring. And I think it's in a different way. I don't really feel here like life of the party or someone I feel like to kind of go and do like mischievous things with or that you are, you know, a ball of fun. This is more something to do with uh, respect. I feel like you've maybe achieved a lot or you are just like, and I think if you haven't achieved a lot or if you don't feel it, like that, that resonates with you, you could just be a person who really knew who they were from the start and you are just very adamant about life okay like what you want out of it you are like goal oriented you just like i don't know moved like an alpha somehow so like i'm just i don't know i'm sensing like a little bit like regina george but not as mean okay regina george straight up um like leader very much a leader now i feel like with the moon card here the moon is always an interesting card for me because when i see it i have to like really acknowledge it it's so powerful to me in our reading especially because it's a major arcana but i feel like 
energetically, people make feel like even though they like being around you, I feel like a lot of people do love you and respect you. I feel like there's aspects of you that make them feel sometimes a little uncomfortable. Um, or there's something that you may be hiding. Um, like, I don't know the full truth about this person or maybe, you know, and this could kind of be confused as like, you know, when you're kind of distant or you're aloof or you're doing your own thing. Um, where you might not really be in touch uh, as often as you could be. I could, I feel like people might be misconstruing that as someone who maybe has something to hide or that their feelings towards me are not that genuine, something along those lines. So you're not for needy people. That's what I'm kind of trying to say. Um, I feel like you're very busy doing your own thing. I feel like with the nine of pentacles, you could even be starting your own business, you know, or always have been in that abundant energy where it's like, I just, I want to achieve. I want to do um, things that, you know, inspire me. And that's kind of where my focus is. And it's funny because you have Ram, a stubborn, aggressive person. Okay, so people could be viewing you like that or they feel energetically like maybe they can't win at anything against you. And that could be like anything. Like maybe even in like sports, I don't know, games or arguments. But you have goal, a target here too, a goal-oriented person. So you're just really about your own life and um i don't know it's intimidating a bit i feel people feel intimidated a bit especially if they're not in that energy as well too and they meet you um yeah you're not for people who are have like it, like there's girls out there you can meet in friendships and it's like right off the bat they just want to be making plans like all the time and especially in adulthood like nobody has time for that you know like you need to be really busy I feel like to be your friend okay um with the sun again very highly respected you have a great energy about you like to have the sun is a big deal that is literally energy you know the card is about energy what you bring to the table it's very fresh I feel very fresh I feel like when this person you know, they're going to show up and they're going to show out. Okay. So you could be very much invited to like all the parties or feel like, you know, I want this person here. People maybe even feel energetically that you will make them look good. Okay. So you could be a higher caliber person and I'm not talking about status in society. I'm just talking about like energy. Um, again, we have the hierophant here. So I don't know if some of you have some sort of high paying jobs or if you're doing something that is looked upon as very uh, like influential or wow, oh my goodness, look at this person, look what she's doing. Um, and you know, if you're a woman, you're very independent here, um, very independent. And I feel like it's big, it's big and it's different. It's different than maybe what your friend group is doing, um, but you could just be in a high achiever, you know? Now we have removed the limiting labels you're wearing. Maybe you've done something spectacular. Maybe you came from a place. Maybe there's some people who know you who are coming through this ring to say that like, wow, like look how far you've come. I don't know if there's some people here who have come a long way and they're, they've known the same people through that struggle, um, but you're like a go-getter. Look at this, create your own happiness. You know, if you're a woman watching this, I would say that your people around you feel like um, you could be even idol. I'm not saying that they're going to let you know that, but you they could be watching you. They could be watching you and taking notes. Like, you've come so far. Like, you're doing so much. And you're so independent about it. Like, you haven't asked anybody for anything. I feel like there could be intimidation here, though. Like, energetically. Like, it's like a mixed bag. Like, I'm... I'm inspired, but I'm also intimidated. And it's like, I don't know, maybe to some degree, some people feel like, I don't know, I'm not really too good. I'm not good enough for this person, you know? I, I don't know how I fit into this person's world. Like, you're just so amazing. Like, where do I fit in, you know? But I think if this is family members, like, you know, because you can't easily get rid of them. <laughs> but with family members, I feel like people love you. And you could be the golden child with the sun card. I feel like people are just really impressed by you and proud of you. And it's like, by knowing you, it makes me look good. So like, let's say it's your mother or someone in the family. It's like, yeah, that's my cousin. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm related to her. Like, we're constantly just 
giving like praise to you and like trying to identify themselves with you to people. Um, now you have reconsider, communicate clearly and don't stop. What is that about? So I think your communication is, uh, this is pretty uh, like, you know, transparent um, in what it means. I think your communication is very clear. I think the way that you speak is very eloquent. I think I'm, I'm seeing like a scholar here, a scholar, or if you're not a scholar, a person who knows how to express themselves very well. So when people maybe meet you or when they know you um, energetically, they feel like you communicate well with them. Like you're not a person that hides. You're not a person that is going to, like you're gonna speak your truth. You're gonna, and Queen of Swords will do that. She's not gonna hold back. But the good thing about her, she'll say it as, in as few words and sentences as possible so that you get it as clearly as possible. I mean, she's an air sign, okay? I'm not saying you are, but she's swords energy. So she's not going to give you like this whole spiel that's gonna go on for an hour. Queen of Cups would, okay? Once she gets to it, cause she's kind of passive. But Queen of Swords will give it to you very, very concise and clear. Now we have reconsider and don't stop. Like, what is this about? Reconsider. Okay, I know what this is. Um, I think energetically, people might sometimes feel like they reconsider their 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 like stand with you. So um, there could be some people who feel like because they get intimidated or that you are just way too above them somehow. And you know, people do that every day. I'm not saying that it's right, but they you might they might get energy, an energy of reconsidering things with you. So if you feel like sometimes it's hard for you in love to kind of find somebody or um, you find maybe it's hard to meet other girls because they're competitive with you, this could be your pile for a reason, okay? I feel like the reconsider is people reconsidering you. You get that a lot maybe. You know, people can't handle sometimes when you have a strong woman, they just can't. I don't know what people expect anymore these days. It's quite confusing actually, but I feel like when women come through as really confident, independent, and um, really sure of themselves, a lot of people get really triggered by that. Now in love, it's interesting. You have the strength card and you have the eight of pentacles. So in love, I feel like people, like whoever you're interested in, so if you're a woman watching and you're interested in men, I feel like men feel like they also want to reconsider because you might be too much work. Um, with the Eight of Pentacles, you know, he's trying to lure her in with a rose, but she's not interested. It's like, do you have more than that? I don't want that. Like, maybe you like intelligent people and um, maybe all he has to give is a rose. I mean, who knows? It could be like many different ways for many different people watching. But I feel like with the strength, it's like, again, you're coming across as maybe too strong for them. So... I think there's gonna be a lot of people who watch this for and pick this pile who have a lot of issues with men being comfortable with being with them because of who they are as a person, like what they carry in life. Maybe they're very confident. Maybe they know that you give these people the vibe like you're not gonna be able to treat me like a little girl. I'm a big ass woman. And um, you know, I'm gonna be able to like snuff out all your BS and call you on it. So I think this happens in love as well too, where people reconsider things with you. Um, you just coming across as too much of a strong presence. And it's sad, but unfortunately that's life and you will have to kind of wait for it, okay? I would rather wait, you know, 20 years to find the right person than to be with the wrong person because I feel like people get triggered a lot. Now, why is the don't stop here? This is weird card to get, don't stop. Okay, this is a message for you, I feel like. Don't stop what you're doing. So regardless of what I said, I mean, I was gonna tell you that too. Like, this is just like an entertainment purpose, purposes only reading. This is not for, you know, to be misconstrued as me telling you to change. Um, because I think you would be the great person for the right man, okay? You need an alpha male. You don't need like a beta, okay? You need an alpha male. And um, then and only then it will probably be a match, but these cards wanna tell you not to stop what you're doing. So you are gonna achieve a lot in life. Um, you don't necessarily need you know, people to feel energetically good around you. Just focus on what you want out of life. You know, manifest and put it into will, you know, will it in and um, make it happen because you have 
a very, very big gift with that, okay? You have the Knight of Pentacles. You are abundant beyond measure and you can make anything you want happen for yourself. You have the will, you have the belief system, belief system and you have the faith. Um, who cares what people feel about you energetically, okay? Um, if they are triggered, that's their issue. It has nothing to do with you, okay? So that was your reading. Uh, let me know what you thought, guys, and thank you so much for watching.